yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, y'all? And welcome back to yet again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy, J.I. As y'all can see, we are in the J.I. Galaxy, so that means we are in Vader, man. Um, I'm sorry if this video is starting out like hella dark. It's the morning time, and I'm currently on my way to work. So, you know what I mean? 5% tint so they can't see up in my windows, you feel me? But anyway, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, man, I've been thinking it's time we make a change with Vader, man. Um... And, you know, what does that, like, entail? What do I mean by, oh, let's make a change with Vader? Well, basically, bro, as y'all know, Vader is my, and if you didn't know, Vader is my 2021 Camaro SS1LE, um, 10-speed automatic, obviously. Um, and so, with that being said, with the 1LEs, they come with magnetic rod as the suspension. Um, honestly, out of all the cars that I've owned, I can honestly say that this is the best stock suspension that I've ever, ever felt um, in my life, honestly. So even out of all the three Camaros that I've owned, this is legit magnetic ride. If you don't got it, man, you can get it or get a new car so that you'll be able to get it, man. Go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do it. If, you know, ride quality and stuff like that is important to you. If it is then by all means go ahead and you know make that switch but if it's not then hey you know what i'm saying do what you do but with that being said magnetic ride is definitely phenomenal bro it's it gets the job done it works perfectly the ride is hella smooth um in whatever setting you have it in you can have it in track you can have it in uh touring and you can have it in sport and nine times out of ten, mine is in touring just because it's softer and it's easier for you to... I ain't even finna spill all those beans. But anyway, yeah, nine times out of ten, my suspension is always in touring mode. Um, now, it's been brought to my attention. You may or may not be able to put 1LEs on lowering springs and still maintain... The magnetic ride all you have to do apparently now allegedly this is what i was told all you have to do is take your car to the dealership and have them reflash your um infotainment section uh section and infotainment center um and they just have to reflash your suspension and you'll be straight now apparently when you modify the suspension on these cars Apparently, now, you know what I'm saying, don't quote me, but apparently, hold on, hold on. How can you not love this car? But anyway, that definitely did get sideways, though. <laughs> Tires are cold, for sure. Um, but anyway, yeah, like... Apparently, when you modify the suspension on these vehicles, the 1LEs or the magnetic ride equipped vehicles, they throw a check engine light. And a check engine light will be for the suspension, which is interesting. Um, I don't know if it's true, but that's what I heard. Um, so, yeah. So, as you guys know, if you've been a part of the J.I. Squad for a while, every car I get, I gotta touch the suspension. I gotta lower it just a little bit, get rid of that wheel cap, get some good fitment going. It's just what I do. Now, what I did not know was when I got this car, I was able to do that and keep the magnetic rod. So, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Do y'all think I should lower Vader, bro? Do we say, screw it and throw the lowering springs on the car? 
and then just get it reflashed so there's no light and I can still use my magnetic rider to still be functional um, you know because I'm just changing out the springs still keeping the shocks still keeping the struts all of that the whole suspension assembly is not really getting touched it's just the springs um, at least in the rear the front you know you definitely got to take out the entire strut you gotta take the top hat off of the strut, remove the spring, well, compress the spring, then take the top hat off of the strut. Then you remove the spring and put the new one in, compress it, and then put the top hat back on. Um, so, it's not a hard job. It's a little tedious, but it's not a hard job, and you're not really changing any of the key components. Um, so, I don't know, man. Um, I've really been thinking about lowering Vader. I haven't really seen too many lowered 1LEs. Um, so, you know, I'll still be on the lookout for them joints because I'm trying to see, you know, how good the fitment actually gets. Because, you know, with a lowering spring, you probably get like an inch and a half in the rear and about an inch in the front. It is what it is. That's not that big of a difference, but it does make a difference. So, I've been interested slash intrigued to see Jesus my car about to be all kinds of dirty but anyway intrigued to see like what other 1LEs look like or what a 1LE would look like lower so definitely gonna be on the lookout for that um just something that's been on my mind lately I've really been thinking about doing it I'm not 100% sure if I want to at the moment but I've really been thinking about doing it I know that when I now this is one of the cons that's been holding me back from doing this um honestly i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all when you go lowering springs like bro that height is that height you can't adjust it so if you have fitment issues as far as a fat tire in the rear rubbing you're kind of fried like it's not really much you can do maybe roll the fenders maybe pull the fender liner but it's not really much that you can do you know what i'm saying to fix a fitment issue when you're on springs bro so with that being said you guys know i take my stocks off i go to the drag strip i put the drag pack on i have an official drag pack now so i'm a little worried about fitment issues y'all know mickey thompson's are not cheap tires um and another thing is they're an actual you know what i'm saying slick it's an actual slick so those tires are more fragile than your regular compound tire is so i don't want to be sitting here rubbing on that tire on the way to the track and then have a blowout you feel me like that's just i know it may not seem possible to y'all but it definitely could happen especially with my look and then the fact that i stay about an hour plus away from the drag strip and Houston, <laughs> you feel me? Like Houston roads are trash. So you never know. So with that being said, man, that is one thing that is hindering me from making a decision. Um, now that I know that you can just throw the springs in and re, you know what I'm saying, reboot or reflash the suspension and not have an issue, am I leaning towards doing it more? Hell yeah. Am I? confirmed on doing it yet not necessarily so with that being said man that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video if you guys are new to the channel man make sure you drop a comment leave a like and subscribe man your boy's on the road to 4k i'm trying to hit uh three point either 3.3 or 3.5 one of the two I'm trying to hit that goal by this week so if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button for the kid turn on those post notifications um it really helps the kid out a lot you know you can subscribe but ever since they turn they enabled post notifications it's like even if you subscribe and you don't have those notifications on youtube is not really pushing my videos like that they're not really gonna be pushing my content like that so if you guys could just hit that bell for me, bro, please, I'd highly appreciate it. I do appreciate it for all of the ones who have pushed the button already. I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the summer drop on the official underscore BYL uh, dot shop Instagram page. It is coming soon. It is going to be lit. Tank tops, shorts. It's 
the works. So with that being said, bro, y'all just just stay tuned because I got some heat dropping for y'all and it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth the wait and worth the price for sure. I'm telling y'all, this is not just no YouTube channel merchandise. That's what I'm not trying to do. You feel me? I'm trying to build an actual clothing brand. You feel me? Where people will like, you know what I'm saying, want to represent it, want to wear it during any season, you feel me? I want my clothes to be able to be worn during any season. Yeah, we got summer drops, yeah, we got winter drops, but at the end of the day, I can also get you a hoodie that's not too thick, or a long sleeve tee with no collar, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, so just, you know, it, 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 it does a lot for me when you guys, you know what I'm saying, tap in with the merch drops and stuff like that. So if you really could, you know, just go give the IG a follow. It's on the screen. Um, or, you know, when the drop comes, man, just tap in with the kid. But with that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you're new to the channel, bro, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, man, turn on those post notifications. Like I said, man, then. That's going to be it for this one, man. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Let's go ahead and roll that outro.